Yeah, man. Uh, let's move on because I, I brought up the backdrop uh, before we hopped on air. Hood piece. That's a beautiful. I see the blue representing, you know, what I'm assuming is Crip. The red, which is I'm assuming is represent blood. I see the gun crossed out. That's a dope pick, man. Um, talk, talk to me about hood piece and, and what made you start that. You know what? I um, it was it was funny, man. This is not a new concept for me. This is a concept maybe ten years old, but I just feel I really feel now is the time to start really start promoting this. I was sitting in a church one day. And the pastor of the church asked people, uh, think about what you can do to affect your community, okay? And I know uh, my, my contribution to hip hop, uh, people give me credit for being one to start the NWA. I gave them a platform. I didn't start them. I gave them all the tools they needed and they took them and did what they did. But it's also the same way the brother that invented the atomic bomb, okay? The guy who invented the atomic bomb, he, he, he was not trying to blow up uh, Hiroshima, uh, Nakasaki. He was just trying to build something, way to split the atom. And I'm not saying they did all that. But I'm just saying that um, I know as a promoter, people promote different things. I grew up in the 70s. Like you said before, I'm a grown man. Been around for a long time. Got an ARP card and everything, okay? Um, and one thing about us in the 70s, we was all about peace. Okay, with all about peace, peace, my brother, black brothers wearing the naturals, sisters wearing the naturals. But the one thing that's never been promoted in the hood is peace. Everybody's been so hell bent on killing each other. Everybody wants to be a gangster. Now everybody wants to be a hoe, and we gotta talk about that. Oh, yeah. um, so we we've been promoted everything, alternative lifestyles. We've been promoted um, uh, various pharmaceutical drugs, but nobody ever ever thought about promoting peace. And I just thought as, as my legacy continues, I may not be an active rapper. I may not be somebody that you see on TMZ or uh, uh, Hip Hop DX, whatever the case may be, but I'm still very active in the community. And I watch Black Lives Matter, and I watch all these various organizations as they grow and they do their thing. But there's another issue we have to, we have to be concerned about, it, uh, what they call it, the elephant in the room that nobody wants to talk about. Mm -hmm. And that's the stuff that we do to ourselves in our own communities. Mm -hmm. We terrorize, we, are, we allow our communities to be terrorized on a regular basis. And we literally, literally protect the terrorists. We're the only ones that do that, mm -hmm. okay? Yep. We're the only ones that do that. We protect the terrorists. Now I'm not trying to be a snitch, you call it, call it what you want. But when somebody is randomly shooting, letting bullets off through the community, hitting kids, old people. This dude, this person has got to go. I'm sorry, they mean no good to anybody. They don't care. It's, and it's hard to show empathy for a person who, who, who doesn't care, who doesn't, who doesn't have any empathy himself. I, and I'm not trying to you know, be a lone ranger or nothing like that, but I do believe that if we make an effort to let people know, hey man, how about peace? How about not everything, every, every misunderstanding or every um, resemblance of disrespect does not warrant a, a, a gunplay. It does not warrant a death sentence, okay? Whoop a nigga's ass, okay? Whoop his ass. If, if you get your ass whooped, take the ass whooping like a man. Yep. Okay? If you can't, if you can't, take, if you can't take an ass whooping like a man, go learn uh, how to fight. But live to fight another day, man. Don't take, don't put every, don't put the other people in your situation. I mean, there was a mansion party a couple of weeks, a, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Guys was gambling. Mm -hmm. Guy allegedly, I don't know the whole story. I wasn't there. <clears throat> allegedly, the guy gets pissed off because he lost. Come back shooting a girl who wasn't even gambling got killed. Three kids lost their mama. Mm -hmm. Three kids lost their yeah. mama. Yep. That's three more kids possibly yeah. in foster care. Three more kids, uh, or, there's some, or there's some sisters or, or aunties or mamas or whatever got to pick up the slack to raise somebody else's kids because somebody else got pissed off and just went randomly shooting into a crowd of people. And this happens at almost every event that in yeah. the hood. I just woke up the other night. There was a party down in, in, uh, in Wilmington, the San Pedro warehouse party. Ain't nobody supposed to be having no parties. People get shot up in that son of a gun. It's like, 
why is it that gunplay is so synonymous with the hood? And the bad part about yeah. it is, if you ask the person, you ask the person after all the said and done, and he's talking to this lawyer, and he realized that what he what what he why he killed why he shot the way he did, it really wasn't worth the hassle, man. If people actually weighed out, no, nope. the vac the uh some of some of the um weighed out the value of their actions versus their penalties. You know, you got guys that's in jail for basketball scores on dumb shit, man. Dumb shit. So hood piece is something I, I formed a, a yeah. local, uh, I formed a nonprofit called the Lyrical Revolution. Hood piece is a campaign that we're looking to launch in the very new, near future. Uh, it's, it starts from the streets, man. It's going to be a, a series of street signs, posters, T-shirts. Um, mm -hmm. I just want to put peace on people's minds, man. Yeah, because look, if the hood had peace, one, you could defend the police. Okay, it would must be be much easier to, de to to defund the police if you wasn't killing each other every night. You can't. You no, know, one of my boys. Exactly. Is, one of my boys is telling me, say, man, these brothers out here. I said, I, I, he's a he's a community activist, work with the gang, and I was, was sitting there talking one day. And he says, I said, how's it going for, how's, how's your business, man? These brothers are still killing each other. They think because the police is being defunded, they can act a goddamn fool. They can act more of a fool. Man, if you acted more of a fool, they're trying to defund the police, you just proving the police's point. God damn, how stupid can you be? How stupid can you be? Exactly, dude. You're, you're, proving, the, you're proving their point. So you can't get what you want. So you got, you got people out here marching and putting their lives on the line against these federal police and, 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 and the regular police trying to make a point. Meanwhile, you got some other assholes proving the police totally, uh, totally right in their actions because no matter what you do trying to do from, a, uh, from, from an intellectual standpoint, you got some knuckleheads that's doing dumb shit because they think that's the cool shit to do. Yep, do. So I'm hoping. I'm I would vote for you if you were if you were running in November. I would vote for you just off that. Thank you. Just, <laughs> just off that platform. 